Rob Less is about to go live online. Catch All Out monster hit music, All Out celebrity interviews, All Out showbiz and sports news, All Out fun, an exclusive on the monster. Catch the stream on the monster Facebook page at RX931, the monster YouTube channel at RX931, and twitch.tv slash monster RX931. Your All Out host, Rico Rob Less. Stand by and enjoy the program. What's up, monsters? How you guys doing? Yeah, it's another edition of Fantastic Friday, but you know, this week is a special one since we're on a little bit early. Um, for you guys, I want to get the opportunity to actually, together, let's get to know the new co-host of the show. I'm talking about none other than the next man guest, Kayla Rivera. What's up, Kayla? <laughs> hey, Rico. Not What's much. Up? How are you? I'm good. good. I'm good. good. Now we're going to get to know you. Uh, people will send in questions. All throughout. Okay, we're going to be on live from 11 to 12. We're just going to give you guys the opportunity to actually ask questions, get Kayla, and get to know her. And then, you know, get an opportunity to actually interact with their next them. Wow, interact. my interaction. Yeah, right, right. So so that's Let's what we're going to be go. doing. We're going to go okay. back on air as well. So if you have any shout outs, have any greetings, you send them in 0961-1367-931. So Kayla. Rico. <laughs> tell us about yourself. Well, it is a Friday morning. Just kidding. Um, well, I guess a little bit about me is um, I'm originally from Calgary in Canada. So uh, that's where I grew up. I moved to the Philippines when I was 18, fresh out of high school. Mm -hmm. And I just I came to the Philippines uh, with my cousin. And I just had a really big dream of pursuing performing as a as a professional career. So I I moved here. Um, I didn't know the language. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so so hindi mo marunong magtagalog when you first moved here. No, no, not at all. Actually, it was more kapampangan that I mm -hmm. knew because at home my mom and grandma would speak kapampangan. So mm -hmm. being in Manila, it was like, oh my gosh, I can't understand anything. When you go to Pampanga, that's when I'd be like, yes. So, so you're from Pampangan. My mom is from Pampanga, yeah. So you cook really good. I don't. My mom does. <laughs> yeah, that's what they say, right? If you're from Pampanga, you're like you're like the base. They like you're like yeah. the, the creme de la creme it's of so cooking. Good. Yeah, so, meaning yeah. performing. I mean, tell us, okay, performing is this theater? Is this paga artista when you move there? Um. Well, growing up, because I, I started taking singing lessons, uh, when I was eight, eight or nine, but I started singing when I was three on the karaoke, of course, with my mom. Um, so it was really singing and I was actually really shy. Mm -hmm. um, hi, Maya Abak. Abak. I hope I said that right. But hi, good morning, Maya Abak also. Good morning, Miguel. Good morning. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, it was really singing that I, I did a lot of when I was mm -hmm. young, but I was also very shy. Like when I would be on stage, I'd be so awkward and I could hardly move. I literally was a stick. Mm -hmm. And then my mom would have to like choreograph me if I would sing like somewhere over the rainbow, like super <laughs> awkward. Um, but teatro, <laughs> teatro, as in you have big movements. Big movements ever since yeah. I was young. So, siguro, um, I mean, when I was in high school, na, mm -hmm. um, I mean, I, I jumped a huge chunk. But I mean, from when I was like nine until high school, I would join a lot of singing contests. Mm -hmm. I would also join beauty pageants when I was young. Beauty pageants, beauty pageants. Really? Did you ever win? I did. I won too. Wow! Look yeah. at your hand. Uh, any Q and A mo, any question and answer. Um, okay, the first question was because hey, I joined Miss Junior Philippines Calgary. Mm -hmm. um, my question was, if you won tonight, what's the first thing you'll do? Mm -hmm. um, I said I would thank God and I would also make sure to continue my friendships with the rest of the candidates. Mm -hmm. uh, eh, friends for bakayon <laughs> <laughs> A couple, yeah, yeah, a couple. Uh, um, and then for the other other pageant that I joined, it was Calgary's Junior Miss. So that was a mix of like all of us like all races. It wasn't, yeah all races yeah so that one um my, ka rin doon. i did i won so, i know representing the filipino community but um i won that one and the question that i gave because hey, the setup was different mm -hmm. it was okay it's up to you bahala ka na, to set up your own question and answer beforehand <laughs> So, <laughs> talaga ano, ganado yung organizer noon. Nabahala kayo. 
answer your question and and, <laughs> and, 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 okay, and then what was your question to yourself my question was if you had the chance to thank god in person what would you thank god oh that's a good question yeah so that was my question my answer was i would thank god for giving me my family mm. um okay i get emotional when i talk about my family but i would thank god for the gift that is my family mm. um because i feel like they're the best family i could ever ask for so yun um that was my answer and are and you I, getting teary eyed no. look at you teary eyed your family not, uh, oh, of course okay. I miss them because so now that I'm based in the Philippines my family is still based in Canada Mm-hmm. So I I don't get to see them as much and we're really really close especially mm-hmm. um my kuya um there's just two of us in the family kasi so we're like we're like best friends and he's he's just so funny he's the comedian in the family so mm-hmm. So hindi ka pa comedian yan? Me? <laughs> I <laughs> you're, wish. You're the dramatic actress. I guess so. Okay. I I guess so. Yeah. So okay, we're going to go back on air now. Okay. So we're we're on live now online but we're going to go back on air now so you guys will get to hear what we're talking about. And we'll throw in some traffic thoughts. Yeah? Yeah, let's yeah, do it. All right, here we go. Once again, if you have any traffic thoughts, you send it in. All right, Sand 31. Summer Sadis is Monsar, Sandy 3 Pro. There goes some Dua Lipa for you. Megan the Stallion, Sweetest Pie. It is another hour of the show, 1107. You got Rico, you got Kayla, till about 3 o'clock today. On a fantastic Friday, we are on live on Facebook, facebook.com slash rx931. All about Ask Kayla. Kayla Rivera, getting to know her yes. on the show. So, so far, you have so many people. You want to greet some people? Go ahead. Yeah, I am. Actually, I'm just going to quickly. Okay. Uh, Japat Ventura. What's up? Good, good morning to you. Uh, Carl Tangilibin. Good morning. Also, and Tita Cynthia. And Rob. Hello, everyone. Thank you to Kayla for sponsoring <laughs> the coffee. Yes. Um, she she hooked us up with some nitro. Thank you to Marky for pouring half a bottle of tequila down my throat yesterday. You guys so, are champs. My gosh. Ooh, I'm telling Woo. you, man. Wow. So once again, if you have questions for Kayla, we're getting to know her. You know, now we've discovered that she's from Canada and uh, that she moved here in the Philippines when she was 18. We were talking about this uh, off air. It was actually online. Mm-hmm. Hello to Dennis Imperial. As hey, well. And, um, you know, she did go here to pursue, what's this, acting? Performing. Performing, yeah. Performing. So yeah. when you auditioned, what was the, was it TV show or teatro? The very first audition I had was actually for a singing singing competition. Which one is this? On TV. Uh, Star Power. Star Power? Star Power. Who won that? Angeline Quinto. Ah, kinalaban mo si Angeline Quinto. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what was your audition piece? My first audition piece was Fallen, Alicia Keys. Like, like yung... Paano I yun? keep on falling. Ha! <laughs> I got, I got... Paano, paano? Walang hesitation. I keep on falling. In hell. Kaling naman. Kala ko yung ano eh. I keep on falling. Falling. Oh yeah, yeah. I love that song too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a nice Galing, one too. Huh? And then what? Thank and then what happened? Um. Well, I got to the top 100, and then from the top 100, I think it was the top 20, and then eventually naging top five. Top five. So I was at a fourth place. Fourth place. Fourth place in the end. Yeah. So, so I mean, you know, who was like the top three? Top three. Angeline Quinto was the winner. Uh, first runner-up was Monica, mm. Monica Cuenco. And second runner-up was Chrisel Valdez. Mm. Yeah. So, so uh, hindi natin, I mean, I don't know them. So, yeah. so it's, it's Angeline Quinto and Kayla Rivera. You see? <laughs> Great things come at number four. Yeah, oh, yeah. Diba? For sure, for sure. Yeah. So, I mean, you you got just got to go for it. I mean, when I was back in Canada, I just watched, you know, ASAP. Mm. And anytime there was any artist that would come to Calgary, mm. I would be there opening act and oh, then I would always baby car. Yeah. oh yeah even if I couldn't really understand anything uh-huh. I would just watch and be like oh my gosh they're all so talented and just amazing amazing performers so I dreamt of it mm-hmm. and it was so surreal when I moved here mm-hmm. and then eventually because of Star Power we would guest on ASAP mm-hmm. I'd be there and be like this is so crazy so so with it I mean <laughs> number four right so mm-hmm. I know that you wanted to get like the biggest Prize, which is like a million, a contract with Star Records. Get it, right? mm-hmm. Usually we get that. So when you didn't get it, I mean, did you cry? Did you like, oh, I'll try again? Who was the first person that comforted you and 
And also, what what was that lesson that you learned in that moment? Um, the fir- So the first person that uh, actually met me backstage was mm-hmm. Tita Bettina. Mm-hmm. Um, she is my manager. Mm-hmm. Um, and the first thing she told me was, Kayla, we got an audition. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so right away, again, she was just like, you know what? There's another door that's open. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no reason to be sad. So I no, I didn't cry. I wasn't sad. I was just so grateful mm-hmm. for the entire experience. Um, and then that's what opened the doors to me doing musical theater. Mm-hmm. And that became what I was really, you know, um, venturing into these past, these most recent years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So musical so, theater. Musical theater. Oh, hita mo. Pati si Bodyguard, si Rafi B, nagising. Ay, si oh, Rafi. diba? Nakita mo sa pagkanta. Salamat, sir. Ganda rin ang boses natin. Oh, oh diba? Oh, natin, <laughs> yes. natin, natin. Natin. Oh, hello. No, Rico, sample na. Hello, sir Rico. <laughs> Nasir tuloy ako ng tita mo. Or right, once again, for those that are tuning in, we do have Kayla Rivera. She is, we're getting to know her today on a fantastic Friday. Get this opportunity. We're going to play more music on the air, but online, we continue. Keep on asking her questions. Send them in. At RX931 at 11.11 right now. Make a wish. Make a wish. Is that moment. Did you just really like make a wish? I do. Oh, Every 11.11. You... 11. What did you wish for? Secret. Nakadaman. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, <laughs> at RX931. So, oh, wonder. We're on till three. Keep it locked in a monster. <laughs> More of Kayla Rivera. She is joining us online, diba? So, so from there, so na karaoke ka, you're learning how to sing, mm-hmm. and then you auditioned with with Fallen, Alicia Keys. Mm-hmm. Um, Tagalog songs. What were the songs you were singing? Ah, uh, the very first Tagalog song I learned, like when I was still in Canada, was Pagdating ng Panahon. Um, Pagdating ng like Panahon. Like Isa Segera. Yeah, Pagdating yeah. ng Panahon. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, and sample, I... sample, sample, sample. Um, For the listening public, look at the camera and sing. Look at the game. Oh, game. Pagdating ng panahon, baka ikaw rin na at ako. Baka tibok ng puso ko'y maging tibok ng puso mo. Yun lang. That's all I can remember now. But uh-huh. you know, it was so funny because back then, I would sing it and I didn't know what I was saying. It, right? It would be like, it would be like, they told me this, but that is such a powerful song. That could be like it one is, of the greatest songs of all time. Amazing, and, yeah. And your voice, I mean, you know, did you ever release an album? I did, I did. Mm. Um, it was all covers, so not originals, but oh my gosh, it was so long ago. I think that was 2012. So, mm. I mean, you guys can stream it on Spotify, um, but I, listening to it, I sound like a baby. So it was so long ago. Um, but yeah, you guys can search K La Rivera and that's on Spotify. Um, I also released an original song though about was it two years ago now? Um, it's a Christmas song. So if you guys are in the Christmas cheer, you mm-hmm. can search uh Kayla Rivera. So K A Y L A Kayla Rivera and the closer that Christmas gets. And that's an original song that I composed with Miguel Jimenez. Mm. So, very special song. Kaling na composer yan. Balita ko, legendary daw yun. Eh. Daming hit album yan. Oh, diba? yeah. Okay, so here. So, from musical theater, then what got you, okay, so you did the musical theater, did your plays, and then did you ever do TV shows? And what got you into to radio? What got you to be like, okay, I'm going to try out radio? Um, TV shows, I would do guestings on like ASAP and then also on GMA. It was Sunday All-Stars. And then um, and also like like random kind of uh, guest roles in, mm. in teleseries and also uh, in on like Manila. So I think that that was like a is it a Sunday show or Saturday or Sunday show? What Manila? Like Manila? Like like yeah. Lito Atienza Manila? I, I believe so. Yeah, it's yeah, like a yeah. story of like Manila and then yung host naglalakad sa along Luneta. Tama? I think so. Yeah, okay. Oh my gosh, I hope I'm getting the name correct yeah, the yeah, show yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it was so. a long, long, long time ago. Mm. Um, so yeah, it would, it would be guestings and then, um, I mean, through the pandemic, it was really like streaming that mm. a lot of us performers went into like on on an online platform so Mm. that's what kind of got me more into like kind of just getting into you know going live Mm. and going on air so then that's what opened up the doors to me 
getting into this. Um, and then eventually, like early this year, um, that's when I thought to audition, mm-hmm. audition for RX. It just so happened that at that exact time I was thinking about it, you mm-hmm. guys were having auditions. So it was like fate. It was perfect timing that I could send in my stuff for, for an audition. And here I am. You're now a DJ. Oh, yeah. Diba? And then it's so amazing. far, ilang weeks na ba? Yung pag dj mo? Three weeks na, no? Three weeks. And how's it so now. far? It's it's getting easier. <laughs> I'll say that. Because in the beginning, it was very, very uh, overwhelming. Mm. I, think, I, I think you could see it in my face when I was training. I mean, I'm still training. <laughs> but um, it was, yeah, in the beginning, it was a little scary. And... Um, yeah, I never expected to hear you as a radio DJ now back in 2011 as a mix DJ. Yeah, that's right. So, so Rob, um, I guess something that I didn't mention earlier when I was making cuento about stuff I've done is back in 2011, I won the mix VJ competition. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I was a mix VJ for for a little while. So, so, so with mix, naman, I mean, from from musical theater, you went to mix, you became a VJ. Yes. How what was the challenge there? What did you bring in? Para bang okay? Uh, and who were you up up against that time? Uh that time I was up against like Joyce Pring, mm. um, Margot on the mic. Mm. If you, she's the DJ now. Mm. Um, Chewy. Uh, oh my gosh, you know he's he's a friend, and I actually don't know how to say his last name. Bouillon. Mm-hmm. That's his last name. Anyways, um, also Mike Advincula. So there was actually three winners. So it was me, Joyce, and Mike. And yeah, so they, it was so much fun. It was just like, you know, it was a competition. But at the same time, it felt like we were just like friends mm-hmm. all doing stuff, you know, that we enjoyed doing and we were just having fun. Um, so that was a lot of fun. The challenges in that, uh, it was my first time really like reading off a teleprompter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so just like reading off the teleprompter um, and making it like fresh and fun. Um that I guess that was kind of like the challenge. I know that that doesn't seem like it's a crazy challenge, but but I still I mean I still wonder like Kunyari, when you win those mixed VJ searches, Margan on diva. I mean, what do you what do you get? You get like you get like a contract, I know, and then you get your salary, whatever, whatnot. Yeah. Pero talagang, how does life change? Are you like super famous? You have I don't know if there's there's Facebook at that's at that time. May Facebook na ba na? Meron na, no? Facebook, yeah, meron, so, meron. I mean, they have like all these Insta friends now all of a sudden. Hey Kayla, remember me? <laughs> Kai, honestly, yeah. So that's actually why I had to create a private account. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, I just I didn't want to like overload my friends from like high school and like family with all of my work posts Mm. so i was like okay i'm just gonna make a private account um so yeah i mean it was it was amazing because like you know people would recognize you and be like bj kayla like i was watching you last night or you know um it was just it was pretty cool um and it was just a lot of fun too Mm. because you know, there was events that we could still do back then. Um, I know like live events now are slowly starting to come back, but then like all the time it would, it would be live, um, you know, doing interviews or there were also segments where we'd like get to go around and like try restaurants mm-hmm. and then do interviews as well. So yeah, it, it, it was a lot of fun. Who was the most famous you have interviewed? Um, I, from what I recall, it was Billy Crawford. Billy Crawford! <laughs> Billy Crawford! Wow. Yeah, oh my gosh. The bright lights, the yes. big booty, that one. <laughs> and ano I mean like you know that was his first time to come back, no. Making us come back so. from so. from the US, from France. Yeah, um, yeah, when you got so. to interview him and you know from that I mean how was that experience it was fun it was nerve wracking too though because I, I just remember like trying to prepare for the interview and then I remembered asking him about his tattoos because mm-hmm. I was like hey I'm gonna try asking something like unique and something different so I asked him about his tattoos and he's like everyone always asks me about my tattoos <laughs> I was like shoot there goes my idea of this being fresh mm-hmm. but anyways yeah it was that's I, I just remember it, it it being fun and and he was he was like he made it easy also because like I, I was so new to it as well. But yeah, he made it easy to interview him for sure. And then as far as your restaurants and famous places you have gone, what was like the most interesting one that you you had to try and you're like, oh wow, this is something different? Um there was a little, a small place. I can't remember the name of it now, but it's a little like ribs place. Mm-hmm. And they it was my first time trying um, deep fried Oreos. 
Oh, that, yeah. That was awesome. Because yeah. I'm such a sweet tooth. So have you tried deep fried? Oil? Yes. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's fat and jabetis, uh, yeah. but it's really good. It's yeah. So, so this good. is over in White Plains. This one is, it was a place near ABS, ABS CBN. Okay. I'm guessing yep. Chubbs. Chubbs. Is it Chubbs? It. Ribs and something? That sounds right. That yeah. Sounds right. yeah. Chubbs. Yeah. Hello to Marie. How you doing? They're all tuned Hi, in. Hi, at the Mitch. Hi. It's, it's at the Mitch. I was calling her Marie. Hi. Yeah. That's Hi, okay. KK. That's... Okay. Tell us a story about, we were talking about this yesterday, the evolution of the name KK. KK. So tell us about this. Okay. Can I tell it to like the full cuento talaga? Sure. That's you want to okay? say it on air? Maybe we're going to go on air. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're live on air for those that are tuning in, but on live, we've been live. We're just getting to know. All about, um, let's see, some, oh, no, oh, Nandito, Camilla Cabello. Okay, who's this? Hi, how you Ooh. doing? Are these your, is your family members? No, but hi. Hi, we're, Marcus. We're, we're getting to know Kayla Rivera. She is, of course, the other half of All Out. And uh, we're just, you know, since it's a fantastic Friday, we're getting to know her and what she's up to. Okay, so <laughs> I don't think you could say it on air. <laughs> I probably can. You can't, so we'll probably okay. say it online. All right. So all right. once again, now it's time for traffic thoughts. Traffic thoughts, yes. So what you got in mind, Kayla? Um, okay. Let's see. So if we actually, you know what? So since it's the weekend, mm. I wanted to ask this. You know how we always know where to go for a first date? Mm. Where do you go on a second date? Wow. Second date is always crucial. People think the first date is crucial, but the second, second date. date. It's the follow up, right? Yeah. So, uh, Konwari, the first date, you went for coffee mm. or you went for drinks. Mm. Second date, ano na? Usually, like on my end, uh, um, first date, usually it's a nice, extravagant place. Okay. The second date is usually the crappiest place that I would go. Crappiest, like meaning... Like, like meaning, like, it's not the most expensive one. It will be something to surprise you. Like, to see where that person is. Kung gano kang kakoboy. Mm-hmm. You know they're saying, mm-hmm. koboy? It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. daling kita sa may, kunyari, um, somewhere that's just street food. Yeah. Ganun level. That's the second date for me. Okay. Yeah. How about you? Ako, um... Based on my most recent, mm, most first, recent, most recent, the first so date. Sa <laughs> so adina ni MJ. <laughs> um, our first date was at UCC, so it was a uh, you know coffee. I think we had soup. Mm. It was a midday, mm. midday date. Cafe. Yeah, uh, coffee. Uh, um, and then our second date. We watched a, uh, a play, mm. and then after that, we went to a dinner. Wow, went to dinner, okay. yeah. So play and dinner, second yeah. day. Extravagant to si MJ. Anum play yun? Um, it was Anna in the Tropics, wow. right before the pandemic. So okay, yeah. Um, so yeah, that was really special going mm. to a play, and because the, the thing is, you know how like it's it's very often you go to a movie. Mm. But the problem is you go to a movie but you can't even talk. You don't talk. Yeah, you just watch the movie. Exactly. And then you check each other's phones and Right. Yeah. Or it could be the first time you hold hands. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Elementary. <laughs> oh, nga, no? Right. Why do you move for popcorn? You have one box. <laughs> Here's a good question. Do you have two buckets of popcorn or just one? Strategic. Right? You have one. Right. Oh. So, I know. Uh, th- that's the thing. Like, I mean, you have a, a movie date, but I think it's important to follow up, either mm. follow up or beforehand. Mm. Go somewhere. Nah, you guys can talk. Hey, here, here, here. So, so second date, diba? So, how how soon should you go on another? Yeah, you go on the first date. How soon should you invite the person to the next date? Is it a week immediately? Is it give it space, give it time, let it simmer? <laughs> and then, because he he might not be into me. Yeah, yeah. Diba? So, how how soon should be the second date? I think a week. I think pwede naman. One week. Diba? If it was the, the previous weekend mm. and then if it went well, if you mm. guys are both interested, a week sounds good. Mm. <laughs> okay. So once again, the yeah. question, Kayla. The question was, 
what is a good second date? Mm, let us know. Once again, what is a good second date and where to take the person on a second date? Yeah, marunong yan eh. Pero 0961 Do comment. We are live on Facebook. We are getting to know Kayla Rivera. Getting to know her throughout. Okay, we're going to be with her for about uh, a good hour on live. 30 more minutes actually on live. And then we're going to go back on air. We're on air all throughout. Once again, on to three. Don't forget, tonight we're going to have a bunch of specials here on the Mons. So we're going to have a countdown top seven. Find out which song will be number one. Will it be The weekend still? Do Walipa, Jack Harlow. Find out all that tonight with Hazel Hadi. That is a countdown top seven happening at 7 p.m. Then after that one at 8 o'clock, we're going to bring the party to your house. Your Remix Fridays. DJ Tom, DJ McCoy bringing you home. Here's some Bruno Mars for you. Only here on The Monster. As we continue to get to know Kayla Rivera, no, it's MJ, but to sabi na kala si MJ former J. No, ibang MJ, iba MJ, iba yon. Hello, uh, let's see. Uh, hello to Cynthia Angeles, your tita. How you doing? Also to Master, Master uh, Marcus. Marcus, hi okay, Marcus. Mas- Alright, what's up? Yeah, UP Hapalin, sarap doon. Okay, yan. Ooh, street food. Yeah, you like street food? Yeah, I do. You, you I ever do, tried? Do. You ever tried? Yeah, I would love going to UP and then having, like, going for a run and then afterwards having, you know, whatever was being sold. Like, there's, like, donuts. But, of mm. course, yeah. Uh, like, uh, it's, it's considered a street food. Like, the, I know, um, the kamote queue. Mm, kamote queue. Kamote queue. Okay. Mga ganun, turon. Oh, my gosh. So, you're into turon. But are you into, I like, isaw? That. Are you into isaw and all that? Yeah. Not I much. Am. I am naman. It's just... um. What I'm not fond of is uh, balot. What balot? Why? Well, I had an experience because so my tita she wanted me to try it, mm. and then what she did was she got it, she put it in a bowl, and she mashed it. Mm. So <laughs> the way to destroy a childhood. <laughs> so you saw you saw a smash everything, a smash chicken, a smashed um. Sees you. Yeah. Yeah. So I couldn't. I couldn't. Uh-huh. No. It's so pabili tayo ngayon, gusto mo? Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Binuli. Uh, pabili tayo, guys. Guys, do you want to eat balot for lunch? Do let us know. Go message now. Okay. okay. So she let you eat it. Did you eat it or did you vomit? I, I couldn't eat it. I couldn't. Mm-hmm. My, my tummy, it was just, yeah, no. I, I couldn't. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't friendly enough. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't gonna. It wasn't gonna take it down. No. I think if I ate it, like you know, where you just, you, it's just like you, you peel it and then you, you just eat in one go. I think Kaya. Hold on, hold on. Is yeah. this your mom? It is. Yes, my mom and my dad. Oh, Yunel, which one's your... My dad is Yunel Iovan, and mm. then my mom is G G L. Hello, sir. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing? <laughs> it's a family reunion. Yeah. Are they all watching us from where are they from? All, all of them. Yeah, they're watching from Canada, from Calgary. Okay, hi. Hello. Hello. Hello, people. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Thank you guys. It's I know also because they're able to join us since it is not too late there. Because uh. if we are on on air around like 5 p.m. here, that's 3 a.m. there. So unfortunately. They can't tune in. So now, perfect timing. Oh, si Sir Rafi. Oh, Pasca din sa balot. Papabili ako ng balot uh, para sa yung dalawa. No. Oh, Pasca yung sa balot. Pero don't forget to vote sa ballot on Monday. Oh, oh Monday yes. ba? No, Monday, no? No, sorry. May night, May night, May night. So yeah. don't forget. Uh, don't forget. Monday, Monday. Tama. Oh, buong family. Oh, Jan. Yes. Hello. So, yep. nagkaroon ng instant family reunion ng mga Jovens, yeah. right? Yeah. Jovens, is that right? Nice. Yeah, Hold that's on. the right way of saying it. There's an executive order, I think, or there's a, a message from, uh, let's see, from, this is by the President of the Philippines Proclamation 1357, for those that are watching us, um, declaring Monday, May 9th, as a special non-working holiday throughout the country. Um, so, of course, everybody got votes and liquor band starts, I think. Sunday, I think. Uh, check it out. Just to double check. Okay. We're here. Kayla's Angels. Okay. So, Yay, we, with you Angels. performing, Kayla, mm-hmm. do you get nervous? I mean, what was the toughest audience that you had to perform for? Is it, you know, uh, the family? Is it, do you get nervous performing in front of the family or, or strangers? 
Um, I it's actually more nerve wracking when it's a small crowd mm -hmm. it's a small audience because like you really see every single person mm -hmm. and you know you see their eyes on you but where as you know if it's a big crowd if the lights kind of like black out the audience then you can't really see so that that helps that helps with the nerves but definitely like i still get nervous of course every time and i know like a friend um Kuya christian bautista he mm -hmm. was saying that you know if you get nervous, that just shows that you care. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you just want it to go well. And you should be scared if you're not nervous mm -hmm. because then, you know, that could mean that you're like slipping and you don't really care as much. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the hardest audience I've ever had was when I had to learn a role in five and a half days. Mm -hmm. And so just the pressure of needing to deliver in that moment because so what happened was it was the musical Carrie mm -hmm. um which is based off of the movie Carrie the the horror like film. the scary like yeah you know? yeah yeah okay. where, where the girl has <laughs> the prom queen yes, yeah exactly okay. yeah so um the lead actress of that show um Mickey Bradshaw Volante mm -hmm. um I watched her on her opening night on mm -hmm. Friday and Saturday morning she unfortunately fell ill mm. and upon her doctor's uh advice advice, advice she was not allowed to continue mm. um for the foreseeable future mm. thankfully she was able to come back for the closing weekend mm. and she did a couple shows then but since she wasn't able to continue that opening weekend saturday morning i get a call from tita lisa mm. uh camus and may she rest in peace as well we miss her so much um but i get a call from her and she goes kk where are you? And I had just walked into school because mm. it was finals week. And I was actually going to school at Miriam College. I had mm. started my first semester uh, taking communications, finals week. And I'm like, I'm at, I'm at school. Mm. How come? She's like, okay, Mickey is not able to continue. Can you come in and learn the show? Mm. <laughs> and it's not like it's like, you know, uh, Princess Jasmine, where you know these songs already. Mm. No, it literally would be from scratch where I didn't know any of the songs. Um, and so I was just like, Tita Lisa, why me? Why wouldn't you call like a more seasoned actress that has a lot of you know experience? I can definitely learn it. So I was questioning and, and I was like, I was just praying about it. And then um, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to talk to my professors about it or anything. I'm just going to say, yes, I'm going to leave school right now and go straight to the theater and start learning it. So in, in five and a half days, I learned the show um, and that opening night was really, really scary mm -hmm. because I just didn't know if I would black out. Because you know when you're in like information overload mm -hmm. and you know how when you cram for an exam? Yes, yeah, it's like when you were learning how to DJ in one week. Yeah. <laughs> Your face was like... Ah! <laughs> exactly, exactly. So um, I was just hoping and praying that I would remember everything and that I could I could do it because it's, you know, it, it was the title role, Carrie. And I had to carry the show. Mm. So it was very scary. But thankfully, everything went well. And the audience was very, very generous and very appreciative mm. and supportive. So, you know, you feel that. You feel that when you're on stage. So the moral of the story, Don, Kayla, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is that if the opportunity knocks, it's okay to cut classes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's so it's so funny too. It's, <laughs> no? it's okay to miss school. One day lang yan. Grab the opportunity, di ba? Right, right. Diba? For so, sure. Yeah. So Pag ganun, you're nervous like you're nervous like that. Ano iniisip mo pag ganun? Um uh, wala. Um you get nervous like especially when you're doing a musical because mm. you of course you definitely get nervous right before the show will start mm. but once you're on stage now you're no longer yourself you're your character so those nerves are not even crossing your mind mm. you're fully immersed in your character and in the show so voila it's you're not thinking of it anymore you're not thinking of your nerves anymore I told me message si Maria Michelle Abachi. Okay, K, ngayon, mm -hmm. since we're, we're, we're talking online, we're on air playing songs. Mm -hmm. Tell us the evolution of KK. So, sa oh nagsimula yan, may nag-comment. Yeah. Can you say it on air? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, now we're here. Okay, so tell us about the evolution. I Maybe mean, it's okay. It's up to you. Yeah, yeah, that's okay, fine. Cool. Tell us the evolution of KK. Why they call you KK? So, um. Tinumin ko pa talaga. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so when I, because uh, growing up, I really grew up with like all boys. All my cousins are boys. Um, in Canada, at least, I have female cousins that are here in the Philippines. But in Canada, my, my cousins are all boys. My brother, well, obviously, he's a boy. Um, and I'm the youngest. So they would have the nickname for me. Keng Keng. <laughs> so when I was doing my first musical uh-huh. in the Heights, the rec Bobby um, saw Bobby saying, Garcia. Bobby Garcia. Um, he saw on my Facebook because it was my birthday. He saw that there were birthday greets and my Kuya Ron. I remember it was Kuya Ron. He was like, happy birthday, Pukeng Keng. So the rec Bobby at rehearsals is just like, so um, what's your life like in Canada? What, why is this your nickname? <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't get it. But anyways, Pukeng Kang is what led to KK. So that is why it is KK. Okay. <laughs> there you go. That's the full <laughs> meaning behind KK. Now we know. But you could now hide it under Krispy Kreme. Krispy okay. Kreme But favorite. since you're from, from Canada, it's Tim Horton. Labo <laughs> lang eh, no? So, T-H na lang. your new nickname is Tim Horton. Okay? Wala <laughs> lang. <laughs> diba? Okay. Diba? Tim Hortons for the win. Yeah, Raffi B is laughing. Oh ah, my gosh, you know, We're getting Raffi. to know. We get to know the story of Kayla. Yeah. Of course, uh, for those that are watching us, feel free to ask questions. You know, your family members are here, mm-hmm. and and uh, <laughs> and everybody is just getting to know the evolution bit, yeah. of your name, and they are actually giggling. It's now, so you know, funny. when it comes to like performing, especially abroad, like mm-hmm. here, this is considered abroad for you because you know you are from Canada yeah. and you have family back home. What do you think about? I mean, when you're sad, when you're lonely. Only, you know, how do you spend your time if it wasn't making phone calls, if you're on stage performing, rehearsing? Yeah. I mean, you know, what keeps you motivated to keep on just staying here and doing what you love best? Uh, well, definitely what keeps me motivated is just like being able to talk to my family. That I mean, I know you said asides that, but it really is that. Like mm-hmm. I, you know, I always, always call my my parents, my brother, my friends. And they're really what what keep me going. You know, they're they're just so supportive. Mm-hmm. They've always been so supportive, and they just really want me to pursue what will make me happy. Mm-hmm. Um, and they believe in me so much. So it definitely is them. And of course, also I know Kayla's angels are here as well. Mm-hmm. So they've just been you know amazing in in being so supportive, um, especially through the pandemic. It was really really hard um, as you know performers where that live sector was taken away from us. Mm-hmm. Um, so even though I had to transition to doing everything online, which was so new to me and all of us performers, like streaming, that was that was a crazy transition. But mm-hmm. definitely, uh, you know, that, that support um, in getting through that. And of course, also, I have to give my love to Miguel as well, who really, really helped me. And Miguel. Si Miguel. Okay. Si MJ, um, guys. So si MJ. Yes, yes. Si MJ, um, who really was so, so supportive until now. I, I just can't thank, thank him, thank everyone enough that, you know, just continuously support me. So, so what was that yeah. advice that you're, I want to go back on air for this because I want, I want people to, to hear this, but online we are live once again. So we're hanging out with Kayla Rivera <laughs> of All Out. Yay! Let's get to know her more. Here we go. Let's ask Kayla on a Friday, on a fantastic Friday here on the show. We're live on the radio, but online we've been live. We've been talking to her. We've been knowing the evolution of the name KK. <laughs> Couldn't talk about it live on air. There's a reason for that. But <laughs> online, you get to check it out, all right? It's facebook.com slash rx931. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, family's watching. You have the full support. We were talking about the transition of, you know, her being here because she's from Canada. Just you're here. <laughs> I'm just talking to you on a third person kind of yeah. thing, right? Okay. You know, Kayla, what was the advice that you got from your mom and dad that just kept you going in times like, you know, not every day is happiness and sunshine and pleasant. You know, there are days when you get, you know, I don't you be heartbroken and all that. I mean, what was that yeah. advice that kept you going from your mom and dad? Uh, well, Really, because hey, my, my mom is very prayerful. So definitely she'll always instill in me and my, and my brother to pray. So, you know, regardless if, if times are good or if times are bad, just to pray about it and 
yeah, just keep the faith no matter, no matter how, how hard times get. Um, but mm -hmm. I mean, my parents are just both like just amazing where they'd never tire of listening to me and, mm -hmm. and just hearing me out and just mm -hmm. giving advice, um, based on the situation, no matter what they're mm -hmm. just, so I can't thank them enough for that. Um, just always, always there for me and my brother. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So we're getting so, to know Kayla. We're getting to know Kayla Rivera as she goes on, of course, joining us here on the show on the daily traffic thoughts that we have come to share with you guys. So once again, our traffic thought, here we go. Is this different? Yes, it's different. Timothy Gabriel. <laughs> MJ, but see MJ Fossey, yeah. <laughs> see, MJ Fossey, of course, is our former DJ oh, here on the yes, monster. Yes, yes. So, so yeah. So once again, send in your questions, 0960136731. Or you could actually just comment, go on our live and comment and get to know Kayla as uh, she joins us here on the show today as a guest, as a guest, yeah. no? as a guest host, <laughs> now host and slash guest. guest. We're going to get to know her 19 minutes ago to get to know her. All right. So, so for it, our question earlier for traffic thought, once again, what's a great second date place? Mm -hmm, okay. So, mm -hmm. so people have actually answered. They're saying, you know, yeah, take them to USD HEPA lane. That's what they call Aww. it. That's a, for, for you. Okay. So our next uh, traffic thought, you got another one? Um, huh. I, right now, I don't have anything that comes to mind. Is there anything on your mind, Rico? Here we go. If you're out on a date, you're in your car, you're driving. Who's in charge of the music? Mm. Do you have it all set up? And what would you do if you don't agree with the person's music? Yeah, that's a no. That's that's a big one. Is there a <laughs> special playlist for that? Can the person you're with be in control of the playlist? Right. Do you send them in? Oh nine six zero one three six seven nine three one. <laughs> so once again who will be in charge of the playlist right or if you know if you guys are new is it kind of a deal breaker or is it kind of like a, a turn off if you guys are not into the same kind of music can you just play the music in the background oh i would i would listen to the radio but a spontaneous that's that's i would safe. have i would have the monster tuned in Tapos hindi ko naman papaalam sa kanya ng katrabaho ko sa monster. So itatext ko yung mga tao dito. Uy, greet mo naman kami. And then the drive. That's for you. Yeah. <laughs> would you feel surprised? I would for sure. Hmm. That would be so special. Uy, kilala ka nung DJ. I know, right? Diba? So, so once again, uh, you send in your questions. So what's in store for you? Of course, you do the show on a daily. I mean, theater is back. Are you going to be yeah. doing some shows soon? Yeah. So the dates have yet to be announced, but we're doing a rerun of Joseph the Dreamer coming up in a few months. So that is really, really exciting. That's going to be the comeback. Mm -hmm. um, that I think it's going to be the very first show to open up the theater in Manila. So we're really, really excited for that. Wait, um, question, uh, question. Some of theater and everything. Do you ever watch? I mean, like for me, uh, I, I watch a couple of plays here. Nakatulog ako. So, do you guys ever see that? Pag nag bawal mag-text, di ba? Kasi I saw yeah. Lea Salonga, like, call out people online about it. They're turning on their phone and it's ringing. But when the phone rings, what do you guys do? Oh. <laughs> Diretso lang. You have to keep going. You have to keep going. But it's such a bad, ano, it's such a bad trip na parang, because it takes you out of the moment. You know, mm -hmm. when we're in the theater, we're creating this whole world for everyone to be immersed in. So, you know, when when a phone goes off, then it, it somewhat pulls everyone out of it mm -hmm. for that moment. And not only that, but Konwari, when we're on stage and then we see someone going on their phone and just that light mm -hmm. from their phone lighting up their face, that's distracting too. Mm -hmm. So You guys just, see that? Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. see that? course because it's pitch black mm. so then just that little bit of light on someone's mm. face you see it you see it and and then i mean that also requires our ushers to have to like shine their laser beam on you to mm. get your attention to stop and then that also distracts us too. so you know what i mean it's just like it's just it's a hassle na sana it doesn't have to happen um sana everyone takes it more you know is, is more considerate about it sana so Yun, that's what happens. I mean, I've never had an experience where I called someone out mm. or 
I was in a show where one of us called someone out, but it happens. It definitely happens. Oh, here's a question from uh, from GL. This is your mom. Ah, uh, yes, yes. So, how are you adjusting with radio, King King? <laughs> Great question, mom. mom. <laughs> so, how are you adjusting on radio, King King? <laughs> I think. I mean. I, I think it, it's feeling, um, it's starting to feel like it's more comfortable. I'm also very, very grateful that I have a partner. I have Rico as my partner, who is, you know, he's he's been doing this for so long. Are you using me? I'll choose my words wisely. <laughs> not long, not long. Not long, not long. Not long. Not long. <laughs> okay, he's been, he's been doing this for a, a good amount of time. Um, and he is also just really, really passionate about it. So I learned so much from him. And he doesn't take it easy on me. <laughs> uh, guys, pinabili ko nga siya ng kape. Ah. Ito mo ngayon. No? Thank you, Kayla. Coffee. Now she actually treated for coffee. It so. was a no. Because last night we had our monster uh, party. So this morning it felt like coffee was necessary. But um, yeah, so what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, uh, adjusting with radio. Mm. I think I'm starting to feel more comfortable with it now, mom. Um, I guess it's just really going to be doing it even more so that it comes more naturally as well. But mm. I think, again, having a partner and being able to just like talk together and have conversation together really makes it a lot easier. Makes so for it, short yeah. na, hindi na siya uuwi ng Canada. Okay? <laughs> Dito na siya. And you have to visit her here. Yes, okay? that is true. That you is have true. to go through 10 days of quarantine, no. 2,000 swabs in your nose for you to see your daughter. And your leave will only be 15 days. So you only have 5 days. Because <laughs> 10 days of that will be in quarantine. Uh, let's see. Um, Kenneth, Jim, Javier, Kayla... Uh, you know, uh, of course, uh, Kayla Rivera, right? She's a singer. Yep, she's not just a singer. She is a great singer. Aww. You know, Kayla, to be honest, uh, through my years here at The Monster, ikaw yung pinakamagandang boses really? na kumanta sa radio that we hear. Wow. And like, wala pang, wala pang mixer, mixer yan. Wala pang, ano, uh, what do you call that? What do you add to that? Reverb. Uh, Walang oh, reverb. reverb. Walang, yeah, no reverb. Walang mga ganun-ganun. No problem, ma'am. No problem. Basta uh, when you come home, you bring home some maple syrup. <laughs> diba? I have. I'll, I'll show you my legit maple syrup. Yung mahal na maple syrup from maple Canada. Syrup. Yeah. Yeah, that, it's really... It is mahal. And it's heavy. So whoever gave that to you is like very, very generous. <laughs> it's my kapit bahay. Eight bulag- what did you do? Uh, eat bulaga? On eat bulaga, I would perform during the bowel judgmental portion. Uh. So, kunwari, you know, when there's when there's guests and then they have a sentimental song for their loved one, bigla, pasok na yan. Parang and then I was, kakanta ano, ka. Yeah, kakanta May banda, na. ganun. I know. Yeah, there, well, uh, there was someone usually accompanying me on guitar. Mm. So, it would be live. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you, Kenneth. Thank so, you for so watching. So you're on the spot singer. Yeah, that's that's so that was um that was a, a crazy experience because I'd have to study like 20 songs that morning mm-hmm. before the show would start and a lot of them I hadn't heard of before. So So you mean to say Kayla Rivera anytime pwede ka namin pakantahin dito. Kayla, sample. <laughs> Boom. Wow, this will bring in a new portion for the show. Oh my god! All right. But you have to also magduat tayo. I am the voiceover lang ako. <laughs> so we can create a portion called Monster Karaoke. Ah, uh, diba? Oh, uh, well, think about it. Basta next Wee. week, we do have a lot in store for you guys. Uh, we're cooking up something big. And you're going to be so entertained. Uh, I'm on air. If you're wondering why, where am I looking at? I'm on air right now. We're on air, but here we're live here as well. Just, I know. Did you know in It Bulaga, our vo- the voice over It Bulaga is actually our very own Tom Alvarez. Really? Yes. Wow. Oh. Like, which which portions? It's your voice mismo na It Bulaga. Wow. Yeah. Let's, let's see if I could, I know, if I could, if I could imitate Tom. <clears throat> Any portion, no? Hi, Kuya. My and kuya's here also. Hey, your kuya, your kuya. kuya. Your kuya, hold on. Let's say what's up to kuya. The breakdancer. Yes. I hear a lot of great things about you, Mr. Breakdancer. Oh so here we go. Hi, Lance. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's cute that your whole family is just talking. I on know. The, ano. Yeah, yung ano yung, uh, paano ba yung bowel judgment? Uh, here, there are amazing stories. Bowel judgmental. Diba? Ah, uh, 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 you see. Wow. When he does over here, you'll be tripped. 
checked out. Yeah. And he did already reveal that it's him on one of the guest things of Bowel Judgment. Usually, kasi, pag voice over, uh, ano, um, it's a mystery. You know, you don't really reveal yourself. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's, it's that whole mis- mysterious thing that really is the, the magic in being a voice over. But now, since you talk, everybody's doing their whole, can you be a voice over? You know what I mean? Right, so, so yeah, they're doing yeah. all that. Oh the reason behind that. So, next week, uh, so next week, so next week, once again, a lot of surprises, you know, as we wrap up our interview with Kayla, you know, but then um, on air, we're going to continue till three o'clock, right? You know why we're going to wrap up? Because she's going to be boarding here. <laughs> okay. She's over. We're going to switch places. And of course, she have to tune at Arx931. Tune in and how she is as a radio DJ. But this is just an opportunity. Kayla, thank you for letting us get to know you. Thank you. you thank know, you also. And marami kaming natutunan this week um, with you, with the evolution of your name, never giving up on your dreams, and the advice of your mom and your dad, how a simple smash balot really ruined your life. <laughs> and, never uh, I'm going to have you eat a certain type of balot. I'm telling you that you'll forever um, love it. Um, it's 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 uh, adobong balot. There's certain the way they cook it on a sizzling plate. That is really good. That All sounds right? good. That sounds well, before good. we end, um, somebody's asking for a sample. So before we end our interview with you, uh, we have 50 seconds on air. So we're going to go on air. And we're just going to wrap this up for you guys and online as well. Thank you guys for watching. Huh? Uh, we're going to keep it going. All right. So now we're about to wrap it up. We're about to go on air just to talk about this and and uh, give you guys this opportunity to actually hear her sing live. <clears throat> Kayla Rivera. Rico Robles. Yes. Okay. So once again, <laughs> we are cooking up something big for next week on the show. Okay. We're not wrapping up the show yet. Don't worry. We're just wrapping up the online portion of it. So we got to know Kayla online. But next week, um, we do got a lot in store for you guys. It is something big. It is something that's probably been never been done on radio. Wow. Grab is a build up. Oh, but yeah. Exciting, exciting. So much talent in store. Okay, Kayla. Yeah. So many of your family members are here. We have Adrian, uh, Cynthia. This is, of course, her brother. Cynthia is your tita? Are you related to tita? To, 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 uh, no. Okay, they're asking for a song or a sample lang, kite chorus lang or anything before oh. we wrap up our online. Your, I guess maybe a song for the people that are watching us. What's a song you got for us? Well, okay, since a lot of me and my family were at a distance, but even if we're at a distance, our, our love for one another keeps us inseparable. So I'll sing a little bit of inseparable. Oh, I thought you were going to sing Go the Distance by Michael <laughs> Bolton. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready? Okay. Inseparable. That's how we'll always be. Inseparable. Just you and me. It's so wonderful to know you'll always be around me. Incredible. That's what you are all to me. So thank you. I just want to say thank you again to my my friends and my family. Thank you guys for joining us. And of course to the monsters. Thank you, everyone. I'm shy. I'll save my tears for later. All right. So again, she's gonna go on air now. We're gonna go switch sides. Kayla will be in charge of the music. So send in your request. 0963679 Heading to lunch. Garico, Kayla, till three. Keep locked in here on the monster. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for Thank taking you. time. We hope you guys, uh, you know, we took you a step further to get to know Kayla and more of this as, of course, her journey continues here on the monster. Kayla! Thank you. Thank you. Oh, dito ka na. DJ ka na. Okay. Thank you okay, guys okay. for watching. All right. Mess home and dad. And to your family. Go ahead, Kayla. Oh, mom, dad. Thank you. Kuya, also, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you joining in. No matter what time it is and just 
even if it's just me and, and you know you you know everything already about me thank you for taking the time to always join in i love you guys i hope to see you guys soon <laughs> rico stop you're gonna make me cry parang to nga wala lang skype eh no oh, nga. <laughs> all right bye guys bye everyone care, right? thank, thank you guys for watching peace